I just got back from my retreat in Mexico. I am in Malibu and I was going to stay at the Ritz downtown and then my good friend Tatiana was like, Marin, don't be a fucking idiot. Stay in my extra bedroom here. And so I'm here um, in Malibu and this is like fucking beautiful. My retreat went wonderfully. Happy to be here in LA. I need to unpack and settle in and shit. So gonna go do that. It is the next day. It is like 5.30 almost. I've had a day. I did double soul cycle, got my nails done, got some groceries for the house. Dish did a fucking lot. I've been working, I've been preparing July forecasts. I need to get ready to film those. Um, if you have not ever seen my natural hair, which isn't like a secret, I don't hide it or anything, I like it. Um, I've always had this like big mane of hair. Um, it's always been really wavy and naturally without dye in it. This looks so bad with this overexposure right now. It's like bright red. I don't know why it's showing up copper in this. It's like bright red, like blood red. Um, but anyway, when I was a kid, it was golden blonde. And then when I was a teenager, it turned dirty blonde into like light brown, golden brownish. Um, so naturally I was always known with like golden, you know, curly hair and shit. Not really curly, more like wavy, uh, kind of kinky hair. It's really nice. I just, with my look, I tend to straighten the top and curl the bottom so I could blow it out too. I'm about to get ready, uh, prep a little bit more content and get ready. And my friends, Isaiah and Rhea are coming over. Guys, I do actually have friends. People are always like, why aren't your friends in your videos? Because so many of them are anonymous. So I don't want to show them. And no, they're not old shit guys. They're just like un usually developers that are anonymous. Um, so I'm with the usual suspect of Rhea because just yes. And then we have Isaiah here. Isaiah was in the Grease vlog as well. Um, the single-handed funniest person ever to be seen on the vlog. Ever. And then the most, <laughs> the flyest person ever to be seen on the vlog. Um, so this is, this is a moment. Very, they're, they're so, they're so boring. They just live here in, uh, yeah, in the beautiful, yeah. yeah. So that's that. Hello, good morning. I just did Soul Cycle and Berries. As you can tell, when I haven't worked out for a long period of time, I'm like so excited about working out again. So literally, I mean, I've said this before, but I just grew up doing so much cardio to where if I go a long time without doing cardio, I get so fucking stir crazy and I'm like, give me like a double Soul Cycle. Give me a Soul Cycle and Berries. I really, I could do cardio literally all day, but I don't because strength training is important. Well, good morning. Um, So had a had a fun night yesterday with my friends and I just spent $250 at Erewhon in Malibu, um, where I got recognized six times. It was a fucking spectacle. But I guess Erewhon in Malibu is gonna be my target demographic, and I'm literally so close to seeing if I can get one of the uh, prop, uh, if I can lease one of the places in this unit. And like, just look at this. Look at this. I bought Erewhon. Uh... <laughs> okay, people don't know that I'm here, and so there's like. Housekeepers on porches being like, who's this bitch yelling about Erewhon? And uh, I almost tried the $17 Haley Bieber smoothie, but it's not vegan, it has collagen and there's no substitution. So basically I'm gonna get into showing you all what I what I bought here, um, the $17. I'm gonna set up my TikTok, I think as well, have a little moment um, and show you what I bought, if I can set this bitch up change of plans let's just let's let's film like this hopefully this shows up i just spent 250 dollars at erewhon in malibu and i feel like this is this is a haul i want to show including this five dollar fifty cold brew Okay, so starting out, $5.50 cold brew, Zeus mousse, vegan acai mousse, roasted Japanese sweet potatoes because this is maybe my favorite food in the entire world, raw black bottom banana cream pie. The bottom of this is not black, but it's a vegan banana cream pie that looks absolutely incredible and it's like, sugar-free keto, all the shit that will make me just, you know, automatically buy. Kelp noodle salad. It's like a peanut kelp noodle salad with a bunch of raw veggies and kelp noodles. Also something I'm an absolute slut for. Oh, there's noodles on the top and the bottom. Oh, that's, 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 yeah. Wakame salad, basically seaweed salad with kale and vegetables, which also just like, oh, there's kelp noodles in this. Oh, it, 
vegan Caesar salad with crispy tempeh and chickpeas. Also something I'm absolutely like, this is just this make, I'm very happy right now. And uh, the last salad I got is just their kale white bean avocado salad. I'm a, I've gotten this for years. It my, I mean, it's the one I just love. Then for sides, I got edamame tofu. I'll probably have that with the kale and white bean thing to add some protein. Falafel and uh, turmeric tahini because also absolute slut for this. Fruit, because I'm on the beach right now and I feel like I just wanted assorted fruit. Buffalo cauliflower, I'm really excited to bake this because I, like out of everything, I'm probably the biggest slut for buffalo cauliflower. I need to stop saying that, really cringe. I got two sugar-free ice Tried to do this just now and ran out of time, so we're gonna run through mains, sides, desserts, and drinks and see if I can get this within three minutes. Um, I got two sugar-free ice creams um, mint chip and vanilla because also something I'm going to get if I'm at Erewhon essentially. I got some dates because I'm obsessed with medjool dates. I also, for chocolate bars, got creamy hazelnut sugar free, dark chocolate, just normal sugar free, another dark chocolate, just normal sugar free, uh, keto nut butter filled sugar free. I'm, can you see the Virgo in me? If I see like keto sugar free anything, I'm gonna fucking get it. Raspberry cocoa. Um, also got two little chocolate squares because I wanted something for like the plane and travel and all of these here. Um, I got two sparkling waters, black raspberry hibiscus and strawberry yuzu here. I got two cold brews because it's me, so we're gonna need some cold brews. And I got two ginger turmeric probiotic shots because yeah, obviously. It is almost 10. I'm waiting for Rhea to come pick me up and we're going to Bootsy. I'm tired. I'm like, is this really worth it? She assures me it's worth it. So this is the fit that we have going on here. So yeah, scarf top, this, and then the shoes, the Marin shoes. So this is, this is the outfit. This is everything together. I believe you can see it all. But yeah, if not, uh, this is this is what's happening, as usual. Many, many a Marin occasion in this format of an outfit. But yeah, waiting for Rhea. I'm tired. It's like a 40 minute drive into Hollywood. I just, West Hollywood, whatever. But I'm seriously considering putting an offer in to lease one of the uh, like units in this building. I mean, one of the units is available. Some people might move around, but like one unit will be available in this building. And it's like, I could afford the rent. It's beautiful. I do like Malibu. I don't like LA proper, but I do like Malibu and like Santa Monica area. So I'm like, I'm going to sleep on it, but I think I might, I, I'm really close to doing it because I do want a place here over the next year when I'm in the US and I like it. I like it. So yeah. Anyway, another day, another like 5 PM morning, I guess. No, I mean, I got if it like Eight, uh, I did Soul Cycle at nine, and then just had a lot of calls and meetings today. But I'm about to go to downtown LA for a photo shoot, um, and I am very, very close to putting in an application for a unit in this building. I might be crazy, and I might regret a one-year lease here in Malibu, but like it would be for my friends upstairs because she's moving into another unit in this building, so hers is opening up. But I mean, like this view. I mean, you saw it. Like this view. I just feel like it's a no-brainer. So um, going off to my photo shoot wearing what I wore last night, but I didn't get any pictures in. So I'm hoping uh, that maybe some can be gotten today uh, along with the photo shoot ones inside. before. Uh, yeah, yeah. This space, actually dope. It's funny too, because like when I walked in, I saw just this, cause this was a little bit, I don't know if these were closed or if I just didn't see them, but I walked in and I only saw these two things and I was like rugged, like absolutely ripped off. And then, <laughs> and then everything is in here. So makes sense. It was like hot, like it's a gross hot tub. Something's very wrong. Um, so work worked out. I was about to say, literally, it feels like a Westminster dog show. There was a um, 
During NFT NYC, we noticed that on all the buildings, like it was like Ukraine flag, pride flag, like whatever the current thing is. And then there was a yellow and purple. And we're like, what sexuality is yellow and purple that we have to support? Like what's going on? And it ended up being the Westminster dog show. That was like the colors, that was the colors. We were like asking people, we're like, what is, what is purple and yellow? And the bartender was like, it's the dog show. I was like, oh, okay, not a war. July 4th. It is a beautiful day out in front of me as the sunset approaches. I'm about to have friends over. They're the ones that are responding. I think everyone's hung over. I'm feeling fucking great today. Have a little bit of cold brew and an Erewhon haul. So this one was not $250. It was $118. But what I got, let me take you through what I got here. Uh, very exciting. I like these purchases, especially today. I got the kale and white bean avocado salad. This is my favorite kale salad by them. I'm going to have this with the uh, veggie burger, which is like a brown a brown rice and black bean sweet potato burger. So I'm gonna have these together and then also this with the turmeric cauliflower because I'm just a slut for turmeric cauliflower. My sparkling waters are falling, but I got these four. I got Ora Bora, these flavors, and then these like unicorn mad tasty two flavors there. Um, I also got some Asian tofu. Their tofu is really good. It's like marinated in teriyaki and the Miracle Noodle Japchae. So it's glass noodles. It's a bunch of stir fried veggies in there. Um, so I'm going to have these two together, probably like split this in half, have half with this, half with this, because this is a lot. Um, and then for desserts, I got this cookie dough bar, which looks really good. This is like vegan, gluten-free, sugar-free, as is this vegan protein bar, which was a dessert thing. And like the, the ingredients and macros and everything were like really good. So I decided to get it as well. Then these vegan powdered glow nuts, which are also vegan, sugar-free, all the things and just so good. So got these two and a turmeric shot. And yeah, this ended up being like all this around 118. Um, which is ridiculous, but also you only live once. So while I'm here still considering, do I want to fucking get a lease here? I'm probably going to actually flip and sell my Dubai property. I do want to live partially in Dubai, obviously, but it's a really good market right now to flip it and sell it. If I'm thinking clearly, so I think I'm going to do that, which opens up where I want to live and be. Uh, but for now, just enjoying all this. I am an hour before I head to LAX. I'm actually really sad and highly considering getting a lease here in this building when there's an open spot because this is fucking beautiful. But last little bit to mark off me leaving. Honestly, very convincing.